Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kiki? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are, because now it's time for Hey Queen with your host, Johnny McGovern. <laughs> Keeping helping of homos. And welcome to another bright, sunshiny episode of Wonk Wonk with me, your host, Johnny McGovern. Today's show is going to be hilarious. With us, we have a YouTube sensation and an amazing talent. He gives you Taco Tuesdays and Thirsty Thursdays, along with so many other fierce videos. The king of pop culture, Kingsley, is on our show today. Yay! But before he brings his adorable ass out here, let me uh, allow me to introduce my right-hand woman, my gorgeous galaxy of glamour. She's the hairspray and the bouffant of life. If she was an artificial sweetener, she'd be sweet and ho. It's Miss Lady Rekatora. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are so silly. <laughs> hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. What should I say? Hate 24 inch magic. Oh, I'm like Black Ponzo today. Oh, my God, you are. <laughs> Black Ponzo, Black, Black Ponzo. Let down your hair. Okay. And right. go to the corner store. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, honey, I mean, uh, uh, the, the lion from the Wiz ain't got nothing on you, sweetie. I mean, Hollywood custom wigs really do a good job. Ooh, they yes. really do. They give you so Wig. much hair. Yes. I, I thought that was grown out of your head. That's how beautiful it looks. It is, but you have to have a wig to connect to your real hair. <laughs> oh, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I saw you this morning, I looked at your eyes and I said, is that... Bambi, uh, a beautiful deer. I okay, give her to me. I do give deception. Really, I look yes. so innocent, especially for Kingsley. You know, you I like to look nice and innocent. Oh, I know. Like I would <laughs> never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to. I'm going to eat you alive. <laughs> <laughs> Kingsley, you better be careful, honey. <laughs> Good thing you're across the studio. Uh, okay, right? You're gonna Kingsley's going to be trying to do his interview. You're going to be there mouthing like... <laughs> 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 you better watch out for that lap dance. That's the thing. Uh oh. You're I gonna, got no paints today. Bust in. Oh, baby. You're going to like get oh, on your baby. running shoes and do the one workout you've done this year. I'm going to beat a up the go go dancer. Yes, ma'am. So, I'll be like, and now a lap dance. Where are they? And you're like, they're sick. I told you they're sick. And they can't make it. They all Don't just, worry, everyone. I'll just, save the day. They just disappear. <laughs> so, they disappear. They disappear. Yes, they did. So, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. Now, you know our little Adam Joseph's out on tour. Yes. Flying around, singing to the Europe. Yes. Singing to all to the, the countries in the Europe. To the peons. It's all to the peons. <laughs> peeing on the peons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe she's getting peed on the way the peons. Right. Been all the day yeah, you're peeing on the peons. But it's okay. We have another beautiful songbird in the house. Beautiful? Well, oh. <laughs> the shame is <laughs> <It's> already. <laughs> it's so I saw Miss Fuego and the Go to Bad Way. Applaud, I guess, yeah. is what we Aww. do. Yes. Thank you. Miss Fuego, is yes. that uh, Yeezy that you're wearing? What's going on? Yes, here? I'm doing my Adam Joseph. I'm trying to give you like my backstreet, you know, like I've got my cap on sideways look. Your backstreet? Uh, you you're know. so hip and fresh with the new trends, uh, <laughs> well, Miss Fuego. I'm very, I'm very, I have a plenty of hip. That's for sure. You want leg and wing or breast and thigh, huh? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Very Hi, nice, Miss Fuego. And look at your shirt, Angela Lansbury. Oh, yes, this is I my know. Swish Embassy with uh, the beautiful Jessica Fletcher, a.k.a. Angela Lansbury, on yes. it. And a typewriter, in case you didn't know exactly what she, what that, what she was from, you were like, I know her face, but then the typewriter and bam. All of our teenage audience is like, why is he wearing an old she lady wrote. on his shirt? <laughs> I love Murder, Google She it. Wrote, Johnny. What? Don't make fun of Murder, She Wrote. 
<laughs> okay, well, I won't then. Okay, Miss Wingo, I didn't know you got so personal about Murder, She Wrote. I love it so much. And the theme song, la, 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 I'd like to see Fuego, She Wrote, where you solve the murder of yourself by Lady Red. I plucked her to death. Oh, you know what? All right. Let's not get too spicy, ladies. Men would pay for these feathers and the opportunity to pluck them. Oh, my God. I can't. Whenever Fuego's around, the shade is strong. It's honey. okay. She's just a mother plucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a big show today. Kingsley is in the house, honey. Yes. yes. And we are going to talk to him right after this very gay break. Take it away, Fuego. Kingsley. Kingsley, oh, Kingsley, oh, Kingsley. Kingsley, you're so darn Kingsley. Yes, 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 oh Kingsley. Oh Kingsley, oh Kingsley, oh Kingsley. Gracias, gracias, Papa. Thank you so much. My Papa always said I was a songbird. Thank you. I'm spilling the tea. It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. It's Hey Queen, hot tea. Oh, yeah. The show where we sip steaming hot celebrity lives and throw Hollywood shade. I'm your host, Mr. Johnny McGovern, with my favorite hilarious people, Julie Goldman, Lady Red Couture, the beautiful Brandy Howard. So oh, God, it's, it's so hot I don't want to touch it, but I just can't resist. <laughs> Real Housewives, real plastic surgery. Richard Simmons oh. transition. She looks like Kelly Osborne. Trixie Mattel. Yeah. Manila Luzon. Yeah. Yeah. Brandy <laughs> Van, his boyfriend is Callum Best. Obviously, he's good at what he does because he's fucking the best of the best. <laughs> Kylie, Chloe, and Kim have not gotten near a white dick since junior high. Release the Kraken! <laughs> I cannot deal with that at all. I will go crazy. It's making me crazy right now. And now I'm insane. Oh, but if you want the tea, honey, the total tea, girl. No O's, honey, the tea. Hey, queen! <laughs> we are back, and we have a pop culture expert in the house who might or might not get eaten alive by Miss Lady Red before the show is through. I'm talking about the pop culture YouTube sensation and super cutie, Kingsley! Yeah. Kingsley! Kingsley, oh Kingsley, oh Kingsley. Kingsley, I want to be your Kingsley. Kingsley, uh-huh. come for me, come for me, Kingsley. Kingsley! <laughs> Very nice. Kingsley, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gracias a todos. What are you doing, honey? I'm fantastic. You know, one of my first viral videos is about how much I hate birds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we brought our specials just to annoy I you. I like that one. Just to get a nice rant going, we thought we'd bring a gigantic bird. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Lady Red, look at this adorable cutie we got on the couch. Ooh, I'm so excited. Hide it. <laughs> God. Her look mouth at that. is watering. I'm yeah, loving no it. Idea. I got it. That's where I get comfortable, baby. Get comfortable. Get your child. Like, yeah. wider. If it's too much, take off your pants. It's all right. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. Already sexual harassment, I told you earlier in the show. I can't. I can't. Now, Kingsley, I brought you a fan in case you needed to throw shade, but we mm-hmm. were having a little trouble earlier. I was. Somebody helped me out a little bit. I'm here okay. for you, baby. Anytime you need me, okay? Oh, very good. I did it. Kind of. Because earlier, it was kind of like... <laughs> I was holding like everything, uh, and I was like, you know what? If your one, if your trip to K Queen taught you one thing, it's right, Lady Red, front yeah. to back, front to or, back, or it's wide, right, and yes. uh, <laughs> yeah. hey. very good, very good that. for that. Good Gensley, honey, how is it going? It's going great. I mean, you did so. You must be so busy doing so many things. I'm not that busy. No, no. I mean, I'm kind of busy, but I tend to be busier once like award shows start happening. Oh, right. Yeah. So because all the celebrities are out mm-hmm. trotting themselves yes. in front of the world. Yes, and everyone and, needs you to do red carpet interviews. And oh so yeah. That's like my season. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Well, let's start off with some celebrities, just because I want to get into that already. Okay. So let's start with your number one bitch. Is she still your number one bitch? You'll have to tell me. 
Britney Spears. Yeah. Are you still standing for Britney? I'm still standing for Britney. We it's all are little questionable, right? Question we're right? holding on. Yeah. We're holding on by a thread. But she's still there. What did you think of the last album? The album that was? And I loved it. Glory. <laughs> no, don't <laughs> say that. It's the truth, though. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was very good. It had a lot of songs that I still listen to. But I'm more of a fan of, like, upbeat banger Britney. Yeah. So... The first half, I don't really listen to. I know. The rest, I don't want I like. any mid-tempos, and no. I certainly don't want any ballads. Especially if she's not going to sing it. Yeah, exactly. She's like at the VMAs lip-syncing. I was done. Ay, ay, ay. I was miserable. And what were the, what, the VMAs could have been such a moment, right? I know. She looked beautiful. She did. Easily. She's gotten back to the size we thought she'd never get back I to. I know. I think she's smaller actually. Yeah. She looks good. She looks amazing. Yeah, and she's dating like that fitness. Oh, well, she got that. Mm. She got that dick in there. Yeah. Honey. I mean, that's what's happening. I mean, I hope it's making her happy. I think it is. But then we got that weird performance at the mm -hmm. VMAs, and then I would have liked to see it at No Background Dancers, just her, working it out. I just don't think she... I don't know about the just her. Well, I would have liked more backup dancers. Exactly, either just her or more. Yeah, way more. It was like two toned down, and then whoever scheduled... Somebody at MTV has it out oh, for her. Honey, whoever yeah. put her right after <laughs> Beyonce was like gagging at themselves. Yeah. That was horrible. That was a disaster. Horrible decision. Now, do you think, did you guys ever see her in Vegas? Yes, I've seen her twice. And was she feeling it or like not really caring, Kang? I don't know, I was drunk, so I was feeling <laughs> it and I was getting my life. I was singing everything, I was doing choreography. The first time we had like one of those tables and the second time we were in like the back in the rows and I right. had a great time both times. Mm. I think it's just, there's so many hits. You can't like- So many hits. Yeah, and you're in Vegas, so it's always a good time. And as long as she has those hair extensions, she's not doing it at top knot. Mm -hmm. She flips. I didn't hair. get that. I actually got when she had like a very short bob. Oh, almost. really? Yeah, I liked it. Oh, my goodness. She seems more free without worrying about well, her extensions. Yeah, she doesn't have to out. worry about that getting wrapped around mm -hmm. the mic cord, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. What did you think of Lady Gaga on Drag Race? Oh, my God. I was, when I first saw the preview, I was shocked mm -hmm. because I was like, the budget. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like insane to see that commercial. And it's like such a thing that I feel like every fan would have wanted to happen yeah. for like years and years and years so to finally see it was crazy it was fun to see her like all emotional over her looks I was surprised nobody did the meat dress <laughs> you're right I was like I, I totally forgot about nobody that nobody did it I was thinking like maybe everyone thought that it was gonna be like a Madonna kimono situation <laughs> right. so they're like I'm not bringing this fucking no dress no way exactly yeah. so nobody packed it but I loved the episode I thought it was great now did you like Joanne Mm hmm Okay, this is when you might want to use a pan. <laughs> I mean, I can't even get it out. Um, I, look, I like what she did. I respect what she did. Right. It's not something I listen to every day, no. No. But I liked the, the concept. Of All right. It. I liked the, I liked her marketing and branding, pink hat, everywhere mm -hmm. we knew what it was. Yeah. But then again, like Britney, I want some bangers from Lady Gaga. I need at least, I mean, an Ayo, Ayo. Yeah, it I love I love it. It wasn't cutting it on repeat listens for me. I, I agree. Just like, give us like something, like the whole album doesn't have to be like yeah. banger, 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 but give us something to live with. Yeah, like, exactly. Give us something to something. live with. But her performances were great. I mean, I and I just loved her reinvigorating the bass on Drag Race, like uh -huh. getting back to be like, remember faggots? Did you see the remember? meme <laughs> that was like, um, cause you know how Alaska did the video that was like, I'm Gaga, a million reasons, oh, yeah. blah, 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 a million <laughs> reasons. And somebody had a meme that was like a phone call. It was Rue and Gaga <laughs> before the premiere. And he was like, what song do you want the queens to sing for the lip sync? And she said, million reasons. And then it showed him, like, for the first time in Drag Race oh, yes. history, there's no <laughs> lip sync. I loved it. I was dying. Speaking of Drag Race, before we go on with our celebrity chat, um, you got to host the pit stop for Logo. I did. And so you got some up close and personal time with the queens, honey. I did. I was dying. I didn't know, like, I was just, it was surreal. Um, we shot, I think, two a day uh -huh. was the schedule. And we'd go in, and then I'd meet the queen. We'd watch the episode together. Oh, so you and watched then the whole episode together yeah. with her? Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. And then we shot it right after, like after they changed into drag. And it was just like meeting some of them. Like I met Detox. I was dying like on the inside and trying to be professional. <laughs> but I'm just such a fan. It was like, I, it was, I can't. That's fun. One of my favorite For jobs. a Drag Race fan to really get 
Super yeah. close. Watch the episode. It was great. And then to hear their thoughts on everything and then to be able to like conversate what I think and get like their professional like experienced advice was insane. That sounds good. Yeah. Who gave you the sickest look? From that whole, from that whole thing, they were all bringing it. I want to say Laganja. Mm. She had it was some boots. It was just very high. It was like bejeweled out. There was like weed stickers and just like <laughs> everything. It was great. I loved it. That is good. Yeah. That and you hosted the Skin Wars after show, right? Oh my god. Yes. And so did you get to do talk to do RuPaul like Facetime? I did. I interviewed him. For like one of the last three, I think, uh -huh. and that was just bizarre. Was that a ga the gag of life? It was. That was the first time I met him. Uh -huh. um, I ended up seeing him after at a Drag Race premiere, but uh -huh. that was the first time I'd seen him and talked to him, and like it was so crazy. He was like telling me before we started, like I'm not gonna look at you, so don't take offense. And I was like, what? And I guess like he gets in like this zone where oh, he right. like is playing to the camera and like speaking, so that the audience feels included and I'm just used to like asking questions and then listening to the answer so I right. kept looking at him even though he told me not to but it was just he was, was also very sure of where his light was from mm -hmm. and he was like and yep. I will not be moving yes exactly <laughs> it was crazy I loved it He's, when the sunshine from RuPaul comes on you mm -hmm. you're like wow yeah and he's not, I didn't know he was like dating and dating. he's like married now. Yeah, but he's, I, was I like, think he's beyond dating. That was well, I, obviously <laughs> now, but it was like low key. Oh yeah, I didn't know. I mean, George lives on a, a ranch in like Wyoming. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, crazy. Honey. that's so beautiful. That's a way to keep a relationship together. Mm -hmm. Keep it out. Hide off it. the cameras. <laughs> exactly. That's how you your relationship with Lady Red will be, right, Lady Red? Yes. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> Lady Red wants it all on camera. Okay, I'm like, obsessed. Yeah. I want it all on camera. I want a sex tape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. I'm going to teach you how to use the fan naked. <laughs> Come and get those. Okay, back to celebrities. I want to hear about you, your thoughts. Justin Bieber, A, his dick pic, his ass pic, and his, uh, and his career going forward. What do you think? Okay, ass pic. There's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I think it looks great. Yeah, yeah. Dick pic, I don't know if I saw these. What? I don't know if I saw these because I, know, I feel it, like he's had a bunch. Well, there's the one where he was walking like from like 50 miles away. Yes, okay, I saw that there one. There was that one. But then there was the one that I don't know how they did this one where he was like in the lagoon and with some model and it was like a full on, you might have seen it and thought it was. Wait, was it in Hawaii? Yes. I think I did see this because it came out like when Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom. It was yeah, like it was all right the around that. It, it was just like dicks all everywhere. The dicks. Yes, oh, dicks, oh, dicks, dicks, dicks. Um, I, thought, I don't like that. I don't like nudes. I think they're oh. really weird. Mm. Like, and if I don't like seeing an erect one, I don't want to see like You don't want to see one. Justin. I just, just, it's a weird to me to see. Um, and I tried, <laughs> like, I didn't even go to look for it. It was just on my Twitter timeline. Oh, I, I mean, there's like, no avoiding a Justin Bieber dick. I yeah. know. It's crazy. But I I mean, it's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> in his career. It's a time she's got shit, baby. I know. It's so crazy. How did they even... The picture, the first one, mm -hmm. when they were 50 yards back. Like, yeah. how do they even know that he's I mean, there? I mean, I, I guess they see where he's at, and they go, like, two miles away or whatever. That's and insane. they get one of those gigantic cameras, and then they just zoom mm -mm. and just sit there waiting. Mm-mm. I waiting can never be famous. Waiting to do whatever it is. I can never be famous. <laughs> it's too much. I think it's too late, honey. I think you already are in your way. Mm. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Justin, do you love Justin's music? I mean... I do, actually. And I've been a fan part, he's really killing for it. a while. Even when he had the bowl cut, I liked his uh, music. Like, I have uh, all of his albums. Every single one of them, even the Christmas one. I think he's, like, cool. I think he has great lyrics. I mean, he doesn't write everything by himself, but he does write. His production is always on point. Uh -huh. and it's just, like, good music. Like, Purpose was yeah. a good album. That was, it was, like, a worldwide, gigantic one. Yeah, and I'm just glad he was able to, like, redeem himself because I was scared for a while that mm. nobody was going to give him another chance. Yeah. Not that it's, like, the end of my life if it didn't happen, but, but still. it was scary. Yeah, we're invested. Yeah, I love, <laughs> I always like the people that are, like, going through shit. That's why I like Britney so much. Like, yeah. I root for people. I know. I mean, 2008 was the greatest time of Fred News ever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll just have a moment for that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> sweet, sweet pain. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Speaking of pain, Kim and Kanye. 
<laughs> the jewel robbery, Kanye going uh, going uh, Frank Ocean Blonde, meeting with Trump, uh, then like his new Calabasas collection for Adidas. What? Yes, honey. What is a Calabasas collection? I mean, I guess it's just another reason for him to have a a, a black model and a white model when they look like him and Kanye, but aren't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Um, I. I actually, I'm one of those people that I feel like if people were to take my social media, they would assume that I hate Kim Kardashian. Uh -huh. But I don't. Right. I love, like, I love Kim Kardashian memes. Mm -hmm. I don't actively watch Keeping Up with Kardashians. Yes. And I don't care for, like, every time she has a naked photo. Right. And everyone freaks out. Yeah. But I think she's a funny person. Her Snapchats crack me up. I was at, um... I think it was the Billboard Awards, and she was supposed to be a hackathon, and I guess her private jet like just stopped working or ran out of gas or something, and she was just <laughs> on Snapchat like, does anyone have an extra private jet? We're stuck here on the runway. Oh my God. Hackathon, stay tuned, we're coming. And it was just like the funniest thing, like it's funny to me how like rich they are, <laughs> yeah. and how just like, in another realm of life. A bubble. I yeah, mean. and like their problems are different problems. There's something I've had to learn like growing up is that celebrities just have an entirely different set of crisis. Mm -hmm. Like she can't get a private jet and we're just like trying to get text back. What are we gonna do? I know, it was I bad, but I... She, <laughs> that's how she sounded, I swear. But I think she's cool. Um, I used to be very judgmental about like her beginnings mm -hmm. and how she rose to fame, but like looking at everything now is just like. Well, what you did it. Whatever it takes. Very yeah. 2017, honey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is what it is. And I love Kanye. I mean, yeah. I love his music. Uh -huh. I don't really pay attention to him like Going as a crazy. Kardashian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I love him, and they seem like super in love. Uh, they I, that they do. They're cute. That they do. <laughs> uh, okay, last but not least, Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma. I mean, by the time this airs, that is an old ghost of a thing. Remy Ma's six feet under. I don't know. Nikki's Nikki keeps singles, taking keeps shots. Playing it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't know. I um actually, I'm not a huge Remy Ma fan. Uh -huh. um, I know of her. I actually did a video like a month ago reacting to one of the songs from her and Fat Joe's album, mm -hmm. like before this even happened. And I was like, oh, she sounds good. And she's had verses on other songs, but like this was so just random to me. Cause yeah. they had been friendly towards each other like within recent years and it just never seems like a beef that would happen. And that Sheether song was just so evil. It was, she <laughs> went there, she, she went, went in. in. It was nuts. And it was just like eight minutes of just like, <laughs> but um, it's not something I can like listen to again. I think no. she sounded a mess. Yeah, <laughs> she sounded like she was hungover and ordering at Denny's. Or maybe still like <laughs> drunk. But um, it was it was sad. I think that they, what made it sad is I think they were on the road to actually collaborate and do something mm. together, which I think would be great for female rap, and it didn't happen. And I don't know if it's gonna happen now. I don't know, I feel like if any female rapper listened to Nicki Minaj and was listening with some kind of poison ear, they'd be like, what? That's about me! Yeah, anybody Nicki Minaj could. Because always ripping some bitch or whoever uh -huh. it is mm -hmm. that she's better than on her track, but that's just her style. Yeah, that's it's just every rapper's one. style. Yeah. Like, even the guys do that, but the guys don't take it like that. And they don't take it to that level of <laughs> yeah. like, oh, he mentioned in this song that he's the best. He's coming for me. Like, it's just, it's so, it's sad. <sighs> well, Nicki Minaj is sad with three, no, three top I starting songs. I love it. I love it because I think people wanted her to just come back with another 10 minute fucking oh, yeah. essay, but she's just like taking subtle digs on every song. Yeah, she's she releasing. keeps sublim dissing. Yeah. Just sub Did you hear Light My Body Up? No, I haven't heard that. Yet. Oh my God. I That's the one. Yeah. You have to listen. There's a line. It says, it's David Guetta, Nicki Minaj, um, and Lil Wayne, and okay. she drops, I ain't talking about David when I say I'm a Guetta. And it's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. when I first listened to it, my We're phone erupted yeah. and yes! Ah. I love it. Ah. People don't give her credit. I think she's great. And she has uh, a lot of wordplay. I love her. She, she gets I, it done. Yes. I want to see more of Roman, really, and less yes. about the slow ballads. Yes. Um, now, uh, you've done a lot of red carpet stuff. Like you said, like your season is red carpet season. Who's been the best and the worst on the red carpet? The best? Um... I would have to say I was over at the Brits 
in London and I talked to, was it, oh my God, I don't remember who it was. Who? It was one of the spices. Oh, Posh? No. Baby? No, Ginger maybe? Ginger? Uh, she moon, was lovely. Moon, moon spice. <laughs> it was redhead. All, spice, all spices actually went over there. It was redhead. <laughs> oh, J- Jerry Hallwell, ginger spice. I think it was her. Yeah. She was just so personable and fun. I had to do this like goofy segment where I had them trying biscuits. Uh-huh. And they were teaching me like how to be British. And she just talked to me for like the longest time. And I had the first station and behind me was... I think it was uh, Radio Something, like one of the UK's biggest radio stations. Oh, right, BBC Waters. And so some people would go and they'd see me and they're like, who the fuck is that? And then like keep going (laughs) to like the actual like established station. (laughs) And she was just so nice and she like took time. Her publicist was trying to like shoo her on and she just like gave complete attention. And that was Give me a biscuit, let's go, Yeah, it was great. (laughs) It was fantastic. And who was anyone throwing you some major... Well, even I have problems sometimes. (laughs) <laughs> um, Aluna George. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was my fault. Because what did, why would you do? I was just being like, I was talking, I didn't know of her as a songwriter. Uh-huh. I knew her from songs on DJ tracks. Right. And I was just asking her, I was like in the moment, I'm like, when you choose to collaborate with a DJ, like what is it about them that like draws you to their song? Is it the lyrics? Is it like this, that? And she like cut me off. She's like, I write my own music. And I was like, Ooh. Holy shit, like that wasn't my intention. I wasn't <laughs> implying that she didn't write. I was just like getting out a general question and I was like shook for the rest of the time. Oh no. And I kind of cut off after like 45 seconds. She was like glaring at me and I felt so bad because I know people get super sensitive about that stuff, but it's mm. just like, I wasn't trying to say, you don't write, girl. Oh boy. You just can be very sensitive on red carpets. I was doing mm-hmm. some Outfest events and I said, these three handsome women with gorgeous haircuts to a bunch of lesbian filmmakers. And oh, honey, they were ready to go. <laughs> they were ready to kill. It's <laughs> stressful, it seems, yeah. for them to like get ready and like answer questions over and over and over and over. Yeah, that's so, a big line to go down. Yeah. Now, how do you like that environment of being on the red carpet and kind of having to be like, over here, over here, you know what I mean? Like, because even even when you're an established person, mm-hmm. they're all there lined up, True. desperate for those moments. It was it was intimidating at first, um, mainly because I was worried how people would take me. I didn't like I never know who has seen my videos and who hasn't. Right. And I taught like if I don't like a song, I'll say I don't like a song. I don't want people to think like I'm an evil person, but it's like it's just the honesty that... And that's, what, that's my, what you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was, like, scared at first. I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't like their last single. Are they even going to, like, stop you? Like, it was just, like, a lot of neurotic stuff. Right. But um, the environment itself is fun. Like, once I've gotten over that and just see it as, like, you're working, they want to promote their stuff, this isn't really the moment where you're going to be, like, in their face, like, your song was shitty. Like, this is, like, a different <laughs> yeah. environment. So when I grew into that, it, it's fun. And it's great to see everyone as a fan, just like there in the flesh, all done up, talking about their projects. And then I'd always get to work with other people. Like for the VMAs, I was stationed with Joanne the Scammer. Oh my God! <laughs> so that was funny because we'd both like freak out in between people and then I'd see her working and he'd see me and it was just, it's, it's fun. Joanne the Scammer, honey. I know. There's nothing better than that. Nothing. Oh, I was I dying. Love Joanne the Scammer. I was dying, dying. Or did you guys get to sneak off and do some video where you stole furs or minks from someone? No, then, I uh, wish. I want to do something with her so bad. Oh, my so God. So did you see the Attitude cover? Oh, yes, I did. Living. <laughs> living. So best. good. She's mm. like my favorite internet meme personality anything to come out of like the last. Yeah, the creation of it mm-hmm. is so amazing because it was just those... <laughs> little things with, yeah. with the, the ma- lip glimmer <laughs> and like, yeah, <laughs> so, the phone calls I mean, yes. like, that's good it's so funny oh I love it hey queen